Hi, James Blackwell with JB Commercial Finance here. It is Wednesday the 22nd of July and a lot of the world is returning to normal now or at least beginning to return to normal. Um, pubs are starting to reopen, shops are reopened and um, lockdown is generally felt to be easing. And indeed the Prime Minister announced that he's hoping by the end of this year that we'll be effectively back to normal, whatever normal is. Now something that's not returned to normal and probably won't for the foreseeable future is the business lending marketplace. As I mentioned in several prior videos, it's effectively been totally dominated by the government loan schemes over the last four months. So that's the bounce back loan scheme which came out in May, but prior to that, the Sybil's loan scheme, the Corona Business Interruption Loan Scheme, and the Corona Large Business Interruption Loan Scheme. Between the three of them, they cover an entire SME marketplace now. Now, some figures have come out overnight about the extent of this scheme, which is following on from other videos that are similarly, just so people can keep into in basically keep up to date with the scope of it and the scale of it. In total, 1.14 million facilities have been agreed. Um, that's quite a big number, isn't it, to get your teeth round, which is a total of £47.9 billion. Pounds. Now, a majority of these loans have been taken out through the smaller, more flexible and more agile bounce-back loan scheme, but 1.084 million so a vast majority are bounce back loans, which is worth 32.79 billion. Now, obviously, the fact that the majority of the loans are bounce back loans, but not you know, about two thirds of the actual figures, illustrates the fact that most of them are smaller ticket loans. 55,000 Sybil's loans have been approved at a hit rate of around about 50%, we believe. That rate is significantly improved. It was sitting at around about 5%. It's now about 50. That's about 12 billion pounds. And through the large Corona business interruption loan scheme, just under £3 billion, and that's for larger companies who have required the finance. So the scope of it is huge, and obviously 100% of the bounce back loans and 80% of the other two facilities are backed by the government. So we're doing some very crude mathematics, that's so over £40 billion is currently underwritten or insured, if you like, by the government of these loan schemes. And current research indicates that the government are expecting around about £15 billion of this to actually be written off or they'll be liable for it. There are other schemes that have been discussed. Something I mentioned several weeks ago is a kind of student loan type facility linked to the taxation. Um, I can't see it happening. And the reason I can't see it happening is that businesses have, have you know, signed loan agreements. So unless you can demonstrate that the business has taken out these facilities unlawfully, then I think you're going to struggle to actually get them to repay them if they go wrong. I'm certainly going back to the directors for them because no directors guarantees have been signed. If it can be proven that the business um, took out the finance by using falsified information or it took the finance out by not providing correct information, then there may be some scope there to get some money back. But let's wonder and let's see the implications of the balance back loan, especially over the next two, three years. And let's see if the potential government losses are worth it to stimulate the economy, which undoubtedly the bounce back loan has done with this sort of liquidity injected. I remain a fan of the bounce back loan. Um, I do wish there was a couple of extra layers of due diligence involved in it, which I think very simple things could have been done to really minimise the risk to the lenders and therefore to the government. Unfortunately, that's not happened. And unfortunately, the loan was lent out with very light due diligence. But let's wait and see and let's hope that it all turns out good in the end. So the purpose of this video was just to give you a brief update on the figures. If you've got any questions, comments, please put them in the, um, in the comments below or every medium you see this video on. And I'd appreciate any likes, subscribers. Um, we most appreciate it. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.